Okay, summation notation. Okay, which means this. The definition of it is simply this. We're going to sum the first n terms of a sequence. In other words, we're going to take that sequence and add them together? Yes, yeah, this is exactly what we're going to do. And we write it like this here. Now, i is sometimes called the index, meaning in most of the time, where do we start with? We start with 1. Doesn't mean it has to. And we're going to go all the way to the nth term, which all it means is I'm taking the first term, second term, third term, dot, 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 all the way to the nth term, and then adding all those numbers together. So i is called the index. n is called the upper limit. And this 1, or i, is also the lower limit of the summation. Okay, so that's very important. So first off, so how do we do it? Well, first off, how do we do this here? If i is 1, I'm going to do 3 times i. Well, basically, one way we could do this is just this. Notice, take 3 times 1, plus 3 times 2, plus 3 times 3, times 3 times 4. Oh, okay. Which would give me 3 plus 6 plus 9 plus 12 plus 15. And if you add it together, you get 45. But wait, is there another way? <gasps> Maybe. Or... What about this here? What about if I took, because three's being added to all of them, think about distributed property. Couldn't I take three times one plus two plus three plus four plus five? Yes. And I can add these numbers easier, which is 15, and three times 15 is actually what? 45. So that way was a lot easier, particular way to do it for a notation that has a solid term like that.